Welcome back to the Sunday Free Show for Inside the Ten. And we've got a great panel on this morning. Mark Levy, 2GB, Neil Breen, 4BC, and Andrew Webster, as always. Great to see you all. Joey called us the Z team. No, you're the, the A+. He said a the Z team's on today. There's a reason I'm on radio with a head like this. But anyway, thanks for having me. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, let's get started. Uh, topic number one. Has New South Wales become a state of sooks and sore losers given the continued fallout from Origin at one? Do we not back our team? Enough. Danica, the answer is yes and yes. I'm sick and tired of people criticising New South Wales and some of the rubbish that gets written south of the Tweed. Why don't we rally around Brad Fittler? Why don't we rally around the players and go up and create history at Suncorp Stadium? I keep reading articles, talkback radio is going off of people saying this person's got to go, mass changes, Freddie's got to be sacked. Rubbish, the series is still alive. Let's go to Suncorp, let's beat the Queensland Maroons and send this bloody thing to a decider. You with me, boys? So are you, who are you talking about? Are you talking uh, about the media? <laughs> no, are you talking about the media or the fans? Well, I'm talking about some of the things you write, Webby. The What's other day, what you, have wrote, I read, mate? You, wrote a, you wrote a column the other day saying the system is broke if Nick o Hines is in the halfback. What a load of rubbish that is. Well, mate, that's my opinion. That's my opinion. Yeah. I thought Nick O'Hines should be picked as the halfback, given that he's been in the system for three years. That's my opinion. I get paid for it, like you do. Yeah. But that's just fine. because you disagree with it doesn't mean I'm a hater. Well, well mate, when... but this whole, this whole, this whole narrative that's being spun that like we're all out to get the New South Wales Blues. Look, some of the coverage has been over the top, and I think, I think Origin has been, um, it's grown. Year on year, it really does. Um, uh, I think New South Wales does origin differently to Queensland. I think there's a lot of clickbait journalism these days that likes to rev things up. But, mate, I don't know what journalism school you went to, Mark, but I'm not a cheerleader, mate. I'm mate, a I'm not a cheerleader I'm either. a reporter. I'm, I'm a, a reporter. reporter. Okay, okay, well, hang on, you just said... You just said, you just said let's add, get around for a few Let's do it. Let's do it. That's not the still function. alive. That's not the function I'll get in the middle of the system. I'll get in the middle of What a load of rubbish. I'll tell you what the difference is. No, pick him. I'll tell you what the difference is between Queensland and New South Wales. This is as someone who's born and raised in Queensland, who worked in the media in Sydney for 17 years, has been back in Queensland the last three years. There is a lot more parochialism in the media in Queensland. It, yes. It's really hard up there for the Maroons to do anything wrong, even when they do something wrong. In Sydney, it's a different setup in New South Wales, and the reason is every single year on paper, New South Wales looks a better team, and they start favourite, and if they lose game one, everyone freaks out. Like, how did they not beat them? Well, sometimes I... they don't beat them because Queensland's got a really good team. Don't well, give me, no, don't no, give me this. Hard nuts. But don't give me this rubbish that our oh, Queensland want it more. What a, go no, go no, into the I'm losing not, dressing room. I'm, not telling, you that. No, I'm I... giving you a media perspective. I'm not telling you that Queensland yeah. want it more. Mm. They get a softer ride. The New South Wales just has their back to the wall because they start favourite. And if something goes wrong... You know, like after that first game, they're out there trying their backsides out. Tedesco and Nathan Cleary, everyone. Of and course. it's like, oh, he didn't deliver. I know, the positivity but, but, for goodness it's, it's no, more, no, but, Are you saying it's more, uh, very much more critical here in New South Wales? Way more. Way more. It is. Way more. But, but... It's smaller, the media's listen, smaller in Queensland. With the greatest respect, because, like, you know, Freddie's a mate of mine, and, and, and so is Joey and Brandy, and I have a lot of respect for these guys. I know exactly what Freddie's done. When he took over, th the system was broken then. Mm. It was. And the way that he got out to the, the regional areas with the Homeless for Hogs, he reconnected the New South Wales team with the New South Wales fan base. It's it, it, Without him, who knows where New South Wales... Start rugby, back in your rugby, state, your sure, team. I haven't, I, Freddie, we and trust. I, I haven't finished. Well, I haven't Freddie, finished. I haven't finished. But if you lose a series and then you lose the first game, then you have to expect some type of scrutiny. You'll be under the pump. Uh, uh, it, is a different, under the pump. It, it is a different situation, though, in Queensland when they uh, there was a game that they lost and the front page of the Courier-Mail, instead of talking about the fact that they'd lost the game, it was like a f photo of one of the players scoring a try and it just said, what a try. There's a difference in sure. how it is. But well, There is a difference, but one's not... Look, the function of the media isn't to be cheerleaders. Maybe for you it is, but not for me. No, 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 don't, mate. Not, I'm not, not a cheerleader. Tune in during the week to the radio. I'm not a cheerleader, but I'm just, I just think, you know, a, a week or so out from a, a deciding origin game for New South Wales where they need to win, enough of poking holes in the team, stand behind the team, get into the trenches with the Blues, and let's beat the Queensland. Well, I, that, I, I can you put those pom-poms down, please? No pom <laughs> This will be a fascinating week, though, with the team. It will be. Like, with the injuries and all the... Because there will be a lot of change and everyone will have an opinion on the change. Every piece of it will be scrutinised. Yep. Um, and all in right. Queensland, we'll just go, how good are these Maroons? <laughs> System ain't break up there, Bruni. Uh, all right, moving on. Uh, Peter Volandis wants Wayne Bennett to be considered for immortal honours. Do you think this should happen? You're the Wayne Bennett expert. Am I? Yeah. <laughs> um, 
Look, I have enormous respect for Wayne. Um, I don't. I think he's the best coach the game's ever seen. But I think the Immortals should just stick to players. Me too. I think that's what yeah. the Hall of Fame's for. Um, yeah, he goes in the Hall of Fame. He's a legend in the Hall of Fame if you want to have that category. And I think I, I think the Hall of Fame should have, like, levels. You know, yeah. like they're doing the yeah. AFL and other sports. And, and they do with the, the Sport Australia Hall of Fame, where yeah. they, they rise them up into the legend status. But I just, I, just think, I just think the Immortals concept is sacred and it should just stay at play. Let's not dilute our immortals, our legends of the game, by just changing and moving the goalposts to put people in. Mm. I, I agree with you, Webby. I, I wholeheartedly agree with you. 900 games coaching in the NRL. Ask Wayne, he's done more than that. Um, you know, seven premierships, starting new clubs, automatic success. He probably should be an immortal. But let's not take away from the gladiators and the legends of the game who go out there and entertain us every weekend. Do you think that maybe a, an immortal status for coaches should be a, an arm of it or just keep the immortals as... I just think keep it the as The immortals are, are the players. The problem is if you put Bennett in it, next thing you know, there'll be columns and, and commentary about Jack Gibson should go in there and there'll be someone else. And what about this administrator Bellamy, who did whether something? Whether Bellamy should yeah, be Yeah, Craig Bellamy. And then, and then you'll sort of... Bozo. You'll, yeah, it's a... It's a you'll, as well. you'll, splint, you'll splinter away from it. But people forget Wayne played for Australia mm. as a winger. Mm. <laughs> if, you, if you do Google search Wayne Bennett player, there's these posed-up photos of him scoring in a Queensland jersey and kicking goals. You're doing too much Googling, Brady. <laughs> He's a Queenslander. That's all oh, I Google Wayne. got to know everything about Wayne. <laughs> um, all right, did the concussion exemption given to Tom Dubovic to play for Manly on Friday night undermine the NRL's HIA protocols? Brian, I know you're fired up about this one. I, 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 think, I think these HIA protocols from the day they came out were a joke because they said... Levy's brought the press release in from I'm the I'm prepared. Hey, so re read them the first par that line. The Australian Rugby League Commission has approved changes to the NRL's head injury protocols, including the introduction of a mandatory 11-day stand mandatory. down following a diagnosed but, concussion. But, yeah, then no, down no, but, low they go, but... But <laughs> the, it, it's a diagnosed concussion, so you cannot diagnose from a bunker however many kilometres away from the game. So it has to be diagnosed by an independent doctor, which is what happened with Tom Draboyevich's case. So they and had Reed the, Marnie. They had the doctor come in to look at his symptoms, whether he... Uh, suffered a um, concussion and it was determined that, no, he didn't. So then that's why. Have you been studying medicine? I do, I, <laughs> I, do, I, do a, I do a lot of HIAs. <laughs> yeah, You've you, been Googling, <laughs> Googling HIAs. You, actually, you do a lot of HIAs on the yes, sidelines, yes. don't you? Yeah, yeah so um, it's showing symptoms of a concussion, but you have to get one-on-one. -on -one. It's like ringing up your doctor going, hey, I've got this rash. You're not, they're not going to know until they see it firsthand. So it's not, it's not that bad a rash. Joey, no, but, but Joey I'm, got I'm, interested I'm, in the rash then. We'll move on. I'm comfortable with it. He's been, he's been cleared by the, an independent doctor, the New South Wales doctor and the NRL doctor. Mm. So can, can, I think the duty of care there from three doctors is pretty strong. Can, can I ask you this, though? I mean, we've put an independent doctor in the bunker. If we're overruling the independent doctor in the bunker, what's the point of having the independent doctor well, in the bunker? Well, to, to, to see it on the field in the, in, during a game. Why not have the spotters in the bunker to look for the signs? It's 11 the days or doctor it's not. on the sideline. Make it nine if you don't want to make it but 11. But it's 11 days if they're diagnosed, and so you're not diagnosed until you actually get to see the doctor in person. Voice of reason. Um, all right. Did the, match Danica. <laughs> did the match <laughs> review committee get it right in not suspending Tino Farsu and Malawi? Look, I, I'm in the minority with this one, Danica. I, I put a thing on social media. Um, I, I don't understand how two weeks ago Tino gets fined for making contact with Reed Marnie's head. Last week, Joseph Swali'i on a little bloke, Reed Marnie, raises his knee, cops a three-week suspension. Yes, you're taught to use your bumper bars and everything else, but you still have a responsibility not to make contact with the opposing player's head. How the NRL Match Review Committee says nothing to see here, no case to answer, come on. You know, instantly I was like the lounge room blow-up person. Mm. There's nothing wrong with that and everyone on the planet can get stuff if they think there's something wrong with that. The next day I looked at it, the slightest bit of separation was there. It was there. just a little bit, wasn't it? Just it was a just little a cough. little bit of whisker. And I, and I don't think the cap... It was hard to get a, a real clear view of it, mm. too. Yeah. Um, I would have been, ha ha been happy with a grade one. I think it could have... It's or a fine. Ones, you could or see I it probably could have copped a fine. On, you could see it either way. Mm. You could sort of see it. But He's a Queenslander. He should have got ten weeks. Can you get fined for squirting water like last night in that room? Didn't that get spicy? It <laughs> wasn't that good oh, fun. Outstanding. Loved um, it. But you, were you surprised that Tina wasn't cited at all? Even I was a little bit. I thought that. I thought what they would do for safety, that, that, like the, their own protection, they'd just go a little bang with a fine, a couple let, of grand let, fine. Let me raise this. If it was at, it happened in, during Magic Round three years ago, he was the big, would have been sent cracker, off. He would have been sent off, and we would he would have been rubbed out for a month. Yeah, yeah. Gary, we are Hargreaves. What happens? 
Well, exactly. Or Victor. Victor Radley. Mm. I mean, you know, I, I just find it amazing that every time we speak to Andrew Abdo and mm. Graham Annesley, contact with the head off limits. Off limits, can't do it. No, it was going to be punished. Nothing to see here. Come mm. on, mm. please. Well, anyway, uh, Big Tino is uh, free to play, State of Origin. Will you all be up there? Yes. I'll be there. Yep. yep. I'll be there. I just want to present something. This is Webby. Just, you can use that water on him like Jar or Rhea. No, no, no. Levy's going to be up there. He's one of the cheerleaders. Give me an end. This is going to continue in the green room. We'll get you in one of the little onesies. The onesies next to you. He got out of his leotard to come in here. Pom, pom. I'm I've never seen a bloke enjoy the makeup chair more than Webby. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you spent an hour there. Oh, hello, look at this. Oh. <laughs>